Okay, uh, Spyshore home version is installed on this computer. It's uh, currently monitoring what takes place on this computer. And there's no obvious indication that it's doing so. It's not displayed in the system tray or in the start menu or any of the other locations you might expect. In order to view the recorded information from Spyshore, simply enter the keyboard shortcut and password chosen during installation and you're presented with the Spyshore user interface. Spyshore monitors a number of different types of information. For example here we have all the programs running on the computer. We can see uh, Google Desktop, uh, Windows Live Messenger. Under the web tab we can see the websites that have been visited on the computer. Spyshore.com google.co.uk, BBC News, and all of these items are all tagged with the date and time and the user who was using the computer at the time. Under emails, we can see emails sent and received. For example, we can see here an email sent with the subject, Hi Kevin, how are you? You can see the sender's address and the recipient's address. Similarly under chat, we can see instant messages sent and received. It is an MSN messenger conversation. And as we scroll through here, we can see the conversation taking place between Kevin and David here. Under screen, we can see uh, images of the user's screen captured at a defined interval. The BBC News website and an MSN messenger conversation taking place there we can see exactly what was happening on the user's screen at the time. Here we can see a simple indication of the amount of bandwidth used uh, during these times by these users. All of these functions are configurable and uh, we can choose to enable or disable them individually and also configure the interval at which data is captured. On this screen you can also set up an email report which sends a summary of the captured information to your email address. And once you're finished viewing the recorded information, what you need to do is click the minimise button in the top right hand corner and the software disappears. It remains monitoring the computer but is uh, back in stealth mode. That's uh, special home edition.